Hi, Limantas Podrauskas, creator of the Local Trade Copper. In this video, I will explain how you can use the split lot function as the parameter in the client EA that allows you to split position into multiple positions in case the lots, you know, the maximum lot size is smaller than the one you want to have. Now, we are on the server right now, and if we go to Experts tab, and I will scroll down to find this line. This this information was printed when my server EA was attached to the to the platform, and I can see that maximum lot size for this particular trading account is 500. Now, if I go to the client EA, I will make sure that I have lot multiplier enabled uh, out of these five money management options and lot multiplier of one allows me to have the same lot size as on the master account uh, no matter what so basically this allows me you know for e to easily demonstrate the split lot option and then I scroll down right over here just to see my split lots um, parameters enabled. Also, there is split lots max value, but I will get back to this later. And now, once my EA loads on the chart, I can go to the uh, to the experts tab as well and find that information of my maximum lot size right over here. So it says that it's 100 lots. This means that this account cannot execute bigger uh, position than than of 100 lots and it's easy to verify I just go to new order and if I enter for example 101 I can see my buttons just turned out gray and if it's 100 or, or less those buttons are available for me to open the trade now let's do the trade copy I go to my master account and I execute the order of let's say 450 lots and make it pending order I go to the client account and I can see that I have one two three four five position sizes and together there they make a total of 450 lots now because my position uh, maximum position size allowed is 100 my client EA basically uh, chopped that trade you know split that trade um, having those positions of 100 lots and then the reminder of 50 lots. Additionally, uh, I can make these sizes smaller if I want to. But first, let's let's see how how I can modify the trade. So let's say I put a stop loss and I take profit, and I can see that stop loss and take profit was added to all those positions and if I close the position on my master account all those five positions were closed as well so this is how the split lot function works now let's let me go to the inputs once again and let's say I enter split lots maximum to be uh, 50 lots so now my positions should be split in 50 each position should be not not bigger than 50 lots. Let's say it can be, I don't know, 375. And I make a pending order again. Click place. I go to the client account. And let's see how many trades we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, which make uh, 350 lots. And then we have the reminder of 25 lots. So this is how the lot split, uh, splitting parameter works. And now let me show you what would happen if there was no splitting enabled. Let me just go to my properties and disable lot splitting. Let me just close this trade. 
okay so now I will open the trade once again I click buy and let's see so we have a pending order of 100 lot size so because our broker on this client account has a limitation of maximum uh, lot size of 100 this means we cannot place um, position sizes bigger than 100 so that's obvious so the position is limited to that now I can I can show you that this works also with market orders and let me make it even more interesting so this actually works with any um, any kind of risk management options as well so it could be risk ratio server fixed lot size lot multiply risk percentage you know no matter what position size you will get on the client account it will just split it the way it needs to so let's say I want to have fixed lot size of uh, 100 uh, oh no let's make it um, two lot two lots okay and then I will just go to split lots and I say that maximum I want to see um, this position size click OK then I go to open a, a trade and make it market order and now I have these trades open as market orders we have one two three four five trades and, and here's the reminder of the trade together they make the position size that I want where's my calculator let's see just for demonstrational purposes five times and plus 25 we have two lots so this is kind of position size of two fixed lot size is split into six different positions and let's try one more time So let's say I want a fixed lot size of 160 and I will say that I want to split by 50 lots and then I go back to my master account and place a pending order of no matter what size client TA would still use 160 lots and here we go we have four pending orders that together make 160 lots so this is how uh, split lots option works and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one